I'll leave my hat right here on, on live on video. Yeah. Alright? So show us show us what's going on. So this is the item in front of you and we've got two as uh, compared to you said one. So we have got two instead of what is that? Okay. So now here we are showing you the lease concept where now uh, this is one browser which is running but it isn't because we're not drawing all the services. And this is how you launch more or two more leaves. So conceptually what you're doing is you're dragging the apps down to start them up in the in the panels. Uh, conceptually it is like that but it's not the same because for example this is a Twitter uh, Twitter uh, leaf and you need a whole internet connection for it to run but right when it's running it's not requiring all the services which would mean that I can keep on adding these leaves as I have in front of you. Say let's go and add a calendar. Then let's go and add say a calculator. Okay, let's go and add now Sniffer. Now Sniffer is an uh, application where you can browse your files. Now say for example, October is about to uh, do announcement that we, are, we both are working together. Then we can go and uh, say weather application. Now this also requires an internet connection. Then, yeah, that's a lot. So now we have these leaves which is running in front of you. And they're not the running application, they're instances of application. What would that mean that uh, you can see that this one whole leaf section is the one which is consuming resources and not all of this application. For example, I can go here and actually uh, look at my data which is inside my uh, device. I can go and say install applications as well and do a lot of stuff. But this is again a leaf concept. So dra dragging all the resources would mean that I will be able to do a lot more function like copy, delete, etc. which my leaves won't allow you to do that. Now, so now let, 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 I, we, we've seen a lot of this stuff. Engadget had some videos. You posted a lot of videos. Let me explain my concern, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna assuage my fears. Okay, we saw Honeycomb yesterday, correct? Now Honeycomb looked like it kicked ass, right? Yes, it is. So my concern is that the work that you put into this into this will be outshone or over overtaken by Honeycomb. Yes. So you worked on this for about a year, almost two years, and you've come out with this. Then there's going to be better hardware. There's going to be better, and everybody has a tablet now. I'm worried this will get buried. That's my main concern. Now, uh, so this is not a product. This is a dream for us. And when it is a dream, you dream for five, six, next seven generations. Okay. Now, if you go and ask Motorola, what is your next product? They'll say, probably I should wait for Tegra 3 or, may, or maybe Honeycomb 3.5 or something like that, and then they will make a product. We know what we want to do. Now, when we started on on Froy, which is 2.2, we knew that there are lots of issues with the Android. As compared, as compared to a tablet operating system. Now, one of the technical issues was having focus in all different views. Now, this is what is being solved by Honeycomb. So when Honeycomb comes, we will be able to leverage all that technicality, technical issues which they have solved and actually with our operating system become much more faster. So we have done our part to make it as close to a tablet and when Honeycomb comes, it will be more accelerated. So, so did you do this to mimic the cell phone screen size in three different instances? Is that, was that, was that, the, was that no. the point here? See, for example, if I ask you, when you work on different applications at the same time, you have a distributed focus, right? For example, when you're writing a blog, you're concentrating at, at the blogs because you know there's some someone about your, your home you have to write. But say when you're reading your RSS feed or maybe checking your SMSs on the device, on tablet, you can do that. Or maybe, in fact, uh, uh, updating your Twitter post, you're not concentrating at each and app at the same time, right? So as compared to playing a 3D game where you need a full screen application, all these other applications where, the, where you have distributed focus should not require a full resource and full screen. That is the concept behind the Eden. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'll say that it's very impressive what you guys put together. I'm, I'm enjoying looking at it. I want to make sure, is our pre-order in the, in the database? Did you check? Yes. It's in the database? It's in the database. Is that, you are also there. Because I think, I think we paid for one. Yeah, I know. All right, so we're all set. All right, perfect. Yeah. So we want to get it on our hands. We want to review it. We want to play with it in comparison to unfortunately in comparison to everybody else and I'm worried that once once Honeycomb comes out things are going to change for you guys and I want you guys that was that was my main concern that it's going to kind of it's not going to be able to it, it'll 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 fade into obscurity simply because you have so much stuff coming out so quickly especially at CES so Best. When you work in this industry, you have lots of partners, for example, NVIDIA and uh, Google should also be talking to us regarding one thing or the other. So what is made available to other partners is what are they going to do in the next year, next year, next year. Right? So the roadmaps are shared. And unless those roadmaps are shared, you cannot go and work on the next project. So Adam 2 is something where we're looking at and what you're speaking about, all those issues will be resolved. But right now, this is one of the most fascinating and fastest uh, Froyo tablets which is coming around. 
In fact, it's midway between 2.3 and 2.2 because we don't want to jump to 2.3 because it's still in mobile operating system. We don't want to work on that and we'll be directly jumping to Honeycomb. So the goal would be, am I going to eventually be able to update mine to 3.0 if, if it comes to that? Now, 3.0 will have a technical uh, uh, restriction of screen size. Now, if they have not made it clear, but if it is there, then you will not be able to do that. But if it's not there, you will be able to do that. But XDA and other partners who are constantly working on hacking the devices, they will definitely be able to do. All right. Excellent. Go for it. So we have, we have some questions here, and feel free to join in the conversation with, at Twitter with hashtag CrunchGear. First question, what makes this different than all the other tabs? Now, this is one of the fastest and the best multitasking device you can have in a tablet. That's what makes it different. Um, we have done, so when you hold a device, you want a device which will not fall off your hand. So right from ergonomics to how to design it, now this uh, rubber shelf with the, the swivel camera design, to lots of things which have got, we have actually paid a lot of attention to uh, every single detail, and that's what makes it different. Great. And actually, speaking of the camera, that was another question. How does it work? That's, that's the question. How does the camera work on the Atom? Okay. Now, uh, when you're looking at the camera directly, it's uh, taking your photograph at 3.2 megapixel. Uh, it's autofocus automatically. After 45 degrees full rotation, it uh, converts, uh, it inverts the image because you don't want to see him negative, right? So after 45, it invert itself and then you can again take photographs. And the, oh, I don't think you're going to answer this, but everybody wants to know what this mystery feature is. Now, come on. This, this has been a big meeting in, in a long time in the making. Yeah. What is the mystery feature of the Atom? Now, uh, we've made a lot of references to Tesla because uh, he's my favorite scientist and we thought that he's one of those uh, engineers and scientists in the world who the world has not paid a lot of attention. And the, one of the first inventions which he did in US and which was uh, the hint as well, it was the radio. Now this comes with the radio. This is probably the only tablet which comes with the radio, but it will come as an update. So, so the radio is a mystery feature? Is this first time ever? First time ever. Amazing. So there we are. All this work that I've done today to find the set, we found out but, uh, the, the, we have the mystery feature. We have a disclaimer. No, yeah, for sure. Okay, we have two add-ins as compared to one which you said in your Twitter. Two more are coming. So two more coming. So there's four total. Is that what it is? Five total in the US. Five right? total. In and US. that's with 3G and without, and then with the pixel or four, pixel. four are pixel chain. One is not. Amazing. And the price is on? The price is 375 plus you add 50, and then uh, your uh, normal pixel tree is 499 and 455. Five, five. Yeah, it's a non-pixel tree. You can see the weight difference actually. It's, it's, yeah, I'm curious here. Yeah, it is concerned. Can we turn it on? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Thank, 